Good times and great music at 2NURFM 103.7. Good morning. Mark Rook with you for the next couple of hours. And a new program is starting on the radio this Sunday night. You hear it every couple of weekends uh, for the next little while. It's a thing called Vinyl Vibes. And the host of that program actually joins us at the moment to take a look through some of the uh, the episodes and what it's all about. Jack Hodkins, good morning to you, uh, young fella. I must say, uh, get into the, the vibe of vinyl. You've, you've kind of set off on a, a good start because you've got the, I'm going to say, the John Travolta revisited look going right Yeah, here. given that John Travolta look from Saturday Night Fever uh, look ago, definitely, Mark, yeah. Well, and we've got the, the big pointy 70s collar out yep. and you've got the, the shirt unbuttoned, the chest hair, so he's he, he is ready for downtown <laughs> vinyl vibes, I could say. But by being a, a young younger fellow, yeah. being sort of immersing yourself in some of the retro music, where did all of that come about? Oh, from the very beginning, Mark, I think, um, well, w- growing up, it was either listen to the Beatles or listen to Justin Bieber. So I, I chose the well, Beatles over... Uh, you, got over the right, you got the right <laughs> B, that's for sure. Definitely, definitely. So yeah, straight from the beginning and uh, ever since then, yeah, I've just been listening to the older music. So uh, we, we sort of fast forward, and, and do you mind if we say how old you are? Yeah, 19, okay. 19, yep. So you sort of really immerse yourself in like a lot of the 60s, a lot of the 70s music. Fast forward a little bit and somebody has said, you know, we'll let this fella loose <laughs> uh, and, and he'll sort of go delving across the world to find some people that actually made up some of those great bands and, and tell their stories on that particular show. So uh, take us through that whole process. Yeah, so um, yeah, just had the idea just to get a music show going we we speak to musicians from the 60s and 70s mainly um and so yeah i do the get get uh, contact them i um get them on the show interview them and um yeah we put it together and um yeah so that's kind of like the process we go through and we've got um bg's drummer coming up uh first episode we've got heaps of stuff as well like following that and yeah yeah well i'm just having a look through the list here uh a fellow called tim staffel the former lead singer of smile which ultimately became queen yeah so i mean a great story that'll be he kind of missed it by, yeah, <laughs> missed just, it by just, that much. Yeah. <laughs> philip wright is uh from paper lace uh, also a fellow called al cooper a great keyboard Play, oh, yeah. did a lot of Dylan stuff and everybody else. Uh, Jay and the Americas, you're heading back to the Quarrymen, of course, yep. you know, became the Beatles. So yeah. um, there's some very interesting tales there, I'm sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. And especially the first um, episode we got coming up with uh, the BG's drummer, Colin Peterson, uh, so that you can hear that on um, 6 p.m. Sunday night, this Sunday night, um, first episode coming out. And what were some of the things that you, you canvassed with Colin? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, we talked pretty much about his whole time uh, with the Bee Gees, a bit about his childhood, you know, that kind of early stuff, But because he met the Gibb brothers as a kid, um, and he became their drummer around 67, 66, and yeah, so we talked a bit about their, like, um, you know, songs like I Started a Joke, um, New York Mining Disaster, he had a great story about this, and uh, we've actually got a clip to uh, show you from that interview. I remember it so clearly, and we were in this grotty little demo room, and it had been thrown together in the basement of Polydor Records and they were just sort of trying to sort it out and there were these power outages most nights. So we ended up arming ourselves with a couple of torches. This one night power went out predictably and Barry picks up the torch and says, okay guys, let's head to the stairwell. <laughs> and, and that's the thing, Jack, yeah. isn't it? I mean, there are the songs that, that we know, we, we know them and love them and they've been a part of our lives for decades. But when you sort of hear some of those kernels of this is how that song came about, mm. it sort of puts you right there, doesn't it? And I'm sure that's the, the vibe you had while putting together Vinyl Vibes. Yeah, absolutely. No, and and, and, it, and it's very interesting hearing how, the, you know, the songs that are a part of our lives mm. came to be. I mean, and it's so simple, like they were just in a stairwell and the power went out and they wrote the song and... And we're still listening to it 50, 60 years later. Probably made a couple of bucks on the side. But I, I reckon so, Mark, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, first one you'll hear this Sunday night, Vinyl Vibes from 6pm, and, of course, you'll be able to check them out later on on our website. The host of that particular show, Jack Hoggins, thank you so much for your time, mate. Thank we, you, Mark. We look forward to the uh, the series rolling out. Should be great. It will be Vinyl Vibes this Sunday night from 6pm on 2NURFM. A broadcast service of the University of Newcastle.